Hey, hello. How are you? <laughs> God damn, this song is so good. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alrighty. Shut up. Whoa. Jesus. Uh. Sorry about that. <laughs> I literally kicked on the kicked on the screen and my guy started running. I pressed the wrong button. Alrighty, welcome back, and welcome to the Golden Saucer, a place that we haven't been on stream. I just got here last night. There was a quest that I did first time we streamed this, but this is the first time we've actually been here. Also, check out the new hair. I look fucking good. Alright. There is currently a gate. I need to play it. I need the rewards, okay? You look like a shop. I can do just your shorting skills when Joel's trapped in. All you need to do is break the targets, earn as many points. And don't shoot the ruby bombs. It's a. It's a coaster shooter. A shooter coaster. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Say, so you just shoot the targets and, and don't shoot the rubies. Let's go. Boop, boop. Back. Welcome back. How are you, Bacon? Also, how's the audio? I feel like it's a bit loud, but I can't really pause right now, so. I think it's my Wi Fi. Oof. Big oof. Get Jigger Figure ready. Time to earn some bonus points. Fuck. I can't believe I've done this. My slow Windows 10 may be fast. Fantasy, finally. Yeah, I'm in. Maybe your Windows is too fast. And I can't believe I hit a ruby. Oh shit. <laughs> Still got him. <laughs> nice. Wow. Man, almost perfect. I shoot the bystander. <laughs> Reader and Gamer gone. Yeah. Maybe they'll be back. Maybe they won't. Can't believe I ruined it. Not a perfect 5,000. <sighs> and a gamer am I. 
How's the audio, by the way, Bacon? Is the game too loud? Is Am I too loud? William is a good time to start stream. <laughs> you say that, but it's 11 p.m. for me. Also, you want to see something fun? There's only one way to climb this mountain. <laughs> if you set your FPS to 6 to 30, you will get up here. It's quiet, why do you ask? I was wondering if, like, it was overpowering me. But if the game is quiet, I can turn it up. Nice. Yeah, let me how let me know how that winds up being. Up. 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 Hey. Up. Hey. I did it. I'm still Weeble. No. I'm Weeble. And I'm cute as hell. Look at my hair. Lovely. Anyway, we should probably get out of here and go do actual content. <laughs> First, let's go finish this side quest that I had, which is that in South. That's very helpful. Central Shroud, the Branch of Meadows, right there, and we can get a racing chocobo. Chimney isn't real. That is true. Have you ever seen one? I haven't. Hey, welcome to the Shroud. It's like forest land. Also, my chocobo. This is Quentin. On a fireplace, they don't exist. I got him some new clothes, and now he's dapper as hell. I love him. Gonna go talk to that catering. Another one for the races, huh? Welcome, welcome. Once you made your decision, I'll prefer the registration form you need to take back to the race counter. Unless you worry, our chocobos are all quality stock. They might not seem like much at first, but being young and inexperienced, but give them a chance and they'll win you a championship. Additional registration forms can be purchased at any time. Mmm, I'll get a lady chocobo. Get a chocobo for racing, yeah. Uh, hand to the races. Well, in case you've forgotten, I'll reiterate. You need to deliver that form to the race counter in the Golden Saucer, only then you'll be able to enter the sanctioned Chocobo races. Where's the tiny bird? There he is. There's Wiggles. Wiggled in along. Can I just teleport to the Golden Saucer for free? No. But it's not very expensive. I got a lot of money. <laughs> oh, hey, look, there's a flying whale. If only Ember were here. How do you do that? Teleport? Magic. To the Chocobo Square. It's because I'm a wizard, Chim. Except I'm not. I'm actually a punch person. One day I'll be a wizard. One day. Oh my god, he has a hat. New jockey returns, bearing his Chocobo's registration form, but of course, the one so keen to join the ranks of honored champions. This isn't very important. But oh my god, look at that. Look at that one. 
And now I can race chocobos. I'm already your wizard. I'm jealous. Oh my god. Where do you get that one? Anyway. <laughs> the golden saucer is very cool and all. It's actually very cool. Oh, you got a kappa. But yeah, it's very cool here. It's got a lot of really cool mini games like Triple Triad and um, Lord of Vermilion and a bunch of little mini games uh, that are timing based. They awesome but without the space. Yeah. Awesome between two columns and colons, not columns, and you'll get. You'll get the emote. You can also type Kappa with all all caps, and you'll get another special secret emote that is really bad, and I hate it. Don't type it, please. For the love of God. Alright. Need to go back into my journal and unmark that. Need to go back down to the uh, Awaking Sands. There it is. Jim learned. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, Chocobos have a saddlebag that you can store stuff in. Really helps to clear in space in your inventory. Nice. Look at this. Nice and organized. You know what? I don't really. I'm never going to be using these eventually. We might as well use them now. <laughs> Fortnite Gaming God emoji. Hell yeah. That's my favorite emoji. What happens if you type Megusta? Man, I'm sad. There's no Megusta emote. Megusta, yeah. There's no Megusta emote. You know, I wonder if blue, if um Square Enix would be mad <laughs> if I used uh, Weeble Wobble for emotes. Probably. Like how I walk? Do you like how I talk? Do you like how there's no Megusta emoji? No, I don't. I'm very sad, actually. <laughs> hey, Tataru. Uh, it's about the fame going to my head. What a Megusta? It's an old meme. Old meme. It is. This. <laughs> That's Megusta. How old is meme? Early to early twenty. The early 2000s. Oh god, I zoomed in. The early 2000s, like um, probably like 2010s, like 2010 to like 2013, was when Megusta was used. What are you guys doing up here? Following the calamity, each nation's armed forces underwent large-scale restructuring to ensure upon its grand company. In Gradania, the Order of the Twin Adder absorbed both the Wood Wailers and the God's Quiver while the Lomensons enacted the complete merger of the Maelstrom and the Knights of the Barracuda. Uldah is the odd nation out, having made no notable changes to its armed forces. 
As before, and in the spirit of the Sultanate, each entity retains a certain degree of independence. Lander emoji. That'd be great. Let me see this. Let me see if I have this right. You're an adventurer who's a scion and a flame. Golly, how do you keep track of everything? Must be fun pairing up with lots of different people, though. Me? I'm always with Papa Limo. Come to think of it, why am I always with Papa Limo? I don't know. You talk to you like how old emojis are dead except for Troll? Troll is dead, too. Don't lie to me. Jell, one, one of me brothers came through not long ago. Looks like I just missed him, though. Ain't seen either of them since the Calamity. He didn't even know if they were still alive. But after running into the folk who swore they knew me time and again, I reckon they had to be out there somewhere. Been traveling and petting in hopes I'll find me brothers ever since. See a fellow what looks like me, let him know that Brennan's looking for him, would you? So that's... I know for a fact. You get a guy that looks like this for your tutorial guy. Everywhere. And the way they explain this is they're actually... <laughs> they're actually brothers. <laughs> Basic phrase, false. Not false. If you see someone still using the troll, the tr troll phase... It is, um, it's dead, and they are behind the times. We'll continue to focus our efforts on investigating the primals. The Amalja are not the only tribe that has succeeded in summoning its deity. Yeah, all of them have. Fate shall be thy guide. When our purposes become one, once again shall our paths lead us here. Our city of learning is now naught but shadows. Ere the light of dawn breaketh. Shall we follow whither the sand blows? Sand does blow. It's rough and coarse. And it gets everywhere. Sounds like it blows to me. Have you met somewhere before? You must be quite the accomplished adventurer to be welcomed into these halls. Me? No one's ever expected much of me. And so far I've done a fine job of living down to their expectations. Ow. Big goof. Also, still think you might be a Garlean. I've been chatting with the Persephanes, and we both swear there was another member of crew. We still haven't figured out the way to prove who we, who we was, but just you wait and see. Won't be long before everyone sees us for the heroes we is. That's a... Hmm. Seeing the video of the troll face losing their memory, what? That's interesting. Wait a minute. Aren't you the goldsmith? Huh. An echo Burneko. Ooh. He does sell an orchestrian role. Hmm. Are involved. I hear you pledged yourself to a grand company. Me? I don't think I could do it. I'd never feel like one of them no matter what the recruiters say. Face gets dementia. That's interesting. I'm not sure to gra I grasp the purpose of these remembrance ceremonies. Whether you remember or rewrite the past, what does it matter? It isn't as though you can repeat it. Our present day enemies ought to serve as sufficient motivation, don't you think? The only lesson I believe we should take from the calamity is that far greater threats can and will appear. I don't know if that's how history works, but okay. Cover yourself in oil, and then you float on water. Anchorage, my boy, my sweet, sweet, I'm the main character, boy. The incident with the traitor still weighs heavily on everyone's minds, the flame generals most of all. And although we cannot be expected to know what evil lurks in the hearts of every man under his command, the revelation is nevertheless a devastating blow to his authority. Even so. It warrants saying that you should not let this tragedy color your opinion of the man. In all my years working with the Flame General, I've never had reason to doubt his capacity to lead. Not gonna lie, I love Robin. Robon. Raubon. Ramen. He's pretty cool. I learned animating. Nice. What is oil? Uh, a very loose term that means a lot of things. 
Welcome back, people. Lady Mathilia awaits you within. I'm going in. But yeah, how's the education going? Welcome back. It seems you wasted no, no time putting your seals to work. How do I know? Why, the recruitment offer called to regale me with a tale of your heroics. The pride in his voice was palpable. We Scions are truly fortunate to have you with us, Weevil. Now, when we last spoke, I said that I wanted you to meet some friends. Did I not? Well, I neglected to mention that you have already met. Sataru, please show them in. What? This way, sirs. Oh, hey! It's the lads! Thanks again for getting us out of that mess. We owe you our lives. But I don't think we've properly introduced ourselves. I'm Biggs. And and I'm... I'm... God's man, spit it out, will you? Hey, don't bully him. W wedge, at your service. Don't be mean to Wedge. He's adorable. Look at him. He's like a... He's like an onion. Gave him making him... Making a megalovania. Ah. There's always another time. I am pleased to say that Biggs and Wedge will be staying with us for a while. Magitech-driven contraptions such as airships grew ever more vital to the city-states of Eorzea. As a neutral party, it was judged that we Scion should serve as the keepers of this technology. Of course, for this we needed the knowledge of experts. And so we requested the assistance of Garland Ironworks, who very kindly sent two of us their finest engineers. Or sent us two of their finest engineers, rather. That was a oof. Our happy family continues to grow. On behalf of the Scions, I bid you welcome to the Waking Sands. More people. Welcome to the family. Like every soul here. I love Eorzea. And I count myself blessed to have been given this chance to stand with you all. And fight for the future of this realm. Never have I known such fulfillment. Such happiness. Wow. Positive emotions. Whoa. Uh -oh. What are Megalovania? A meme. Also a song. A pretty good one. I'd suggest looking it up. Minfilia needs you to investigate the Sylphs. Oh, hey, we're doing their limb now. What do you think is going to end in another primal fight? What's the odds? Pretty high. Now, having said. Whoop. We have a favor to ask of you. Sorry. Uriange, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. We have conducted a study at the behest of the Order of the Twin Adder. Papalimo, Ida, a synopsis, if you would. Our task was to survey the behavior of the Sylphs, a beast tribe indigenous to the Twelveswood. Oh, how to describe them. They look like gizzle greens, floating ones that worship the primal Ramu. Gizzle? <clears throat> Though technically a beast tribe, sylphs are blessed with a comparatively personable demeanor, conducive to peaceful communication. Offering us an invaluable opportunity to learn what the beast tribes know of the primals. While Ramu's existence is well documented, the sylphs do not, or perhaps cannot, summon the primal any longer. In so far as can be ascertained, until such time as we know, it would be unwise to assume that the threat posed by the primal has passed. This Biggs looks like Sands. I think he looks like uh, Blanca with a haircut. Knowing what they should be worrying about. In that regard, they are hardly alone. What we can say with absolute certainty is that Gridania has its hands full fending off Garuda. Who, I need hardly remind you, is among the most savage and terrible of all known primals. In short, 
It is essential that we approach the Sylphs in as diplomatic a manner as possible. Words and actions can be misconstrued. The only sure way to communicate our intentions is the Echo. Winning the Sylphs' favor may well bring us a step closer to mitigating the threat of the Primals. Will you help us? You got it. I am grateful. Lovely. Well, as much as I'd like to help, I'm afraid I would be of little use to anyone in Gridania. A veritable babe in the woods. Ida and Papalimo, however, should be able to see the forest for the trees. Is that not so, Minfilia? Indeed. You are willing? Leave it to me. Us, Ida. Us. Leave it to us, Ida. Yeah, I think um, Biggs kind of looks like um, Blanca from Street Fighter if he got a haircut. The mission is to make contact with the Sylphs with the ultimate goal of finding a peaceful resolution to the threat posed by Ramu, apparently. I always called him Rama. Be fairly warned, the Sylphs are a unique people to say the least. And you may find yourself bewildered by their customs at first. Yet know that Ida and Papa Lima will be on hand to support all your endeavors. Wow. New friends. And one of them's a Lalafell. I'm looking forward to that. Man. Hey, thank ye. Traipsing around in the woods is hardly my forte. It's only fitting that those two be the ones to assist you this time. Lest you harbor concerns about me and my idle hands, know that I will be busy conducting my own, din own independent investigation while you entreat the Sylphs. I mean, I assumed you guys were doing your own things while I was doing this. Hey, my boys. We haven't forgotten how you saved us, Weeble. Don't worry, Wedge and I remain to repay, mean to repay the... Bleh. Wedge and I mean to repay the favor in kind. I like it here. Safe, fit, and a bit dank and dingy, perhaps, but I've known worse. Plus, the receptionist was rather charming, don't you think? The tattoo is adorable. Don't, don't, don't. Hey, everybody, I'm here to talk. Who the hell is Harapert? I don't know. Once upon a time, I aspired to make my name as an adventurer. It all came crashing down that fateful day when I lost the man who led my party. The man who had won my heart. He cannot protect my love. If I could not protect my love, how could I hope to help how could I hope to protect my realm? I sunk to the depths of despair. Pathetic, is it not? Others may have come to join some great cause while I am here only because I have nowhere else to go. As good as reason as any. Guess what, Weeble? We found our third man. Those bleeding sats flow. Look at me, how could I ever forget about sats flow? I, the three of us, was always together, I think. Dream for 30 hours? Um, not gonna lie. If I could, I would. I would definitely. Dream for 48 hours. <laughs> at that point, that's getting a bit, a bit much. 30 would be, like, the max. The name's Herbert. I've taken up residence here for reasons I'd prefer not to delve into. I may not be of much use to you on the battlefield, but I know a thing or two about dealing with people. If you find yourself in a bind, you'd do well to avail yourself of my services. Wow. With the addition of the two engineers you rescued, the Waking Sands has become lively indeed. Were you aware that entry into the sands requires the fulfillment of certain conditions? One must either gain recognition from the Scions or earn the approval of Tataru. Our Lollafelling clerk has quite a discerning eye for character. Hmm. Oh, hey, Avati is not dead. They tell me you were instrumental in Ifrit's defeat. Bravo, Weevil, bravo. Perhaps you heard of my exploits? The Flames and I struck a decisive blow against the Lizardmen by destroying and pillaging their stores of crystals. Aye, they won't be summoning their primal again anytime soon. 
Megalov listens to Megalovania, but Earthbound. You mean the original edition? Ah, uh, but neglects to mention that our allied forces suffered heavy casualties. The operation succeeded, but at great cost. With an outcome like that, should we get truly consider it a victory? Ahaba sh says we should, but I'm not so sure. Hmm. Damn. Merchants told me it was Brent that delivered their goods. Maybe if I wait a while, he'll come back with another shipment. Maybe. Sand. Sand Undertale. Ramu, beloved primal of the sylphs. Rooted is he in the laws of Eld, the stern arbiter of the forest. Legend hath it that this thunderous entity appeareth in the guise of an elderly sage. Thus doth history oft speaketh of the old man of the woods. Old man. An old. Wow. Now, where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, with the adders. Oh, yeah, I'm going to Gradania. God damn it. Let's teleport there. Uh, boop. Wait. <laughs> we need to say bye to Tataru before we leave. I can't believe I almost forgot. She'd murder me. Probably. Hey, I'm leaving. Good evening, Weeble. I trust your investigation is faring well. It will be. When I start investigating. Let's go. Oh my god, he is so cool. What a cool guy. <laughs> so cool. Wow. Ah, there we go. Self-management. That's a nice dance. Alrighty. Vorcel Hulwa. We know far too little of the sylphs to lay any worthwhile plans. We must call upon the signs once more if we are to... Ah, oh, beg pardons. It is a terrible habit of mine to think aloud. But tell me, what brings you to the adder's nest? I'm here to help. Wow, ee. But up, up. Hail, adventurer. I bid you welcome to the Adder's Nest. Do you seek to entwine your destiny with the, the with the twin Adder? What is an Undertale? It's a tale that you tell under another one. It's like subtext. Good evening, Commander. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but other business brings us here today. Good freaking RPG, true. Hi, hey, Sim. How are you this evening? How you doing? Ida and Papa Limo, always a pleasure to see the two of you. A man tell me you quest in the name of the Scions of late. Quite so, Commander. The little bird told us that the Twin Adders was in the Twin Adder was in need of our adventuring prowess. Ah, your little bird sings true. No doubt you've heard that we're investigating the sylphs. That curious beast tribe that calls the depths of the dwelves wood home. The sylphs are, for the most part, a peaceful bunch. Peaceable bunch. Much to the delight of the elder seed seer, who has no desire to see her people embroiled in yet another fruitless war. The twin adder of this is of the same mind, and tis precisely for this reason that the Sil's relation to the primal Ramu has raised a flag of warning amongst our ranks. Friendly as they may appear, beastmen will be beastmen. Could there ever be even a sliver of, of a chance that the summoning of the primal might disturb the balance between Grajani and the Silphic tribes? It is a possibility we cannot ignore. Better to be safe than sorry indeed. Do we strike at Ramu, or leave the Sylphs to their own ways? That is the question, yet I find myself lacking ample knowledge to arrive at an answer. Opinions abound within Gradania, but to listen to only one's 
Oh, to listen only to one's own is among the greatest mistakes a commander can make. I would hear from the other side, the sylphs themselves, and seek an impartial party to serve as my liaison. That is where you scions come in. I'm a diplomat. The sylphs of Little Solace remain untempered and have held many a productive dialogue with our people. I would hear their candid thoughts on their tempered brethren. That said, I urge you to exercise due caution. Sylphic tradition and etiquette bears little, bear little resemblance to our own. It would not do to have any cross-cultural faux pas get in the way of a productive parlay. En route to Little Solace, you, sh you will come upon the Hawthorne Hut. Our officer stationed there can enlighten you as to how to win the Sylph's favor. May your expedition be a worthwhile one. A friendly pal palaver with the Sylphs. This should be a pleasant enough diversion. The Hawthorne Hut, was it? Well, I believe the ferry departing from West Shore Pier should take us straight there. A family palaver indeed. I hope this will be as straightforward as you say, Papa Limo. It won't be. We'll all die. We're all already dead. Oh, hey. <laughs> you want to play Triple Triad? I gladly accept your challenge. And though this may be but a game, know that I'm no less honored for the chance to test myself against you. Let's fight. Oh, my God. Ascension. Card ranks increase in proportion to the number of cards of the same type already played. Interesting. Anyway, let's go. I've never gone first. Oh. Um. But, uh. Oh my god. What does A mean? Um. Uh. Got more plush. Nice. Interesting. <laughs> I don't want to play you again. He's not fair. He's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. But you got more plush. Hell yeah, dude. What'd you get? Music's so cheerful. Dwarf to the centaur's eye. Oh, the Lancer's Guild. Crystal. It's in the centaur's eye, but it's the Lancer's Guild crystal. Because that's the Lancer's Guild. He learned how to be a pokey boy. Matani. I, the fairy doctor at the base of this hill, will carry you across the lake to the east shroud. And once you're ashore, head to east and you should find the Hawthorne hut without much trouble. You got it. Ramarik. Let's go. Um. Lavender beds. No. Sweet bloom, please. Sweet bloom here. Flowey plish. Adorable. I think that's a wonderful idea. My boy. Hell yeah. Brother. Let's ride. Come on, Quentin. Look at those hoglets. They're pretty wild. 
Bum, bum, bum. Also, big ass, big ass slugs. Help. <laughs> I'm stuck. No, the South Shroud Opo Opo. Can't believe he's dead. No, that's a Lev a Leve quest. I was like, that what is that quest? And it's a Leve quest. I'm always on the lookout for unlocks. I indeed I am Amalan of the Twin Adder. I understand you're here to learn of the Sylphs, yes? For all their whimsy, they are a wary lot, particularly since the Empire has come to the Shroud. And their trust, however, and they're as friendly as any folk. They have their quirks, but so do we all know. Would you know more? You'd do well to speak to the master of this hut, Rolf. He's forgotten more about the Sylphs than I'll ever know. Alright, Rolf. Life has many doors, that boy. Come to learn a thing or two about the Sylphs, have you? I'll tell you one thing, they're peculiar folk. How peculiar you, peculiar, you ask? Well, just let me tell you. They're... They're... Uh... Beg pardon, friend. My memory's just not what it used to be. I've seen much and more in my adventuring days, and it's all a clutter in my noggin now. Though I've shared my stories with those around the hut before, you might have more luck with them. Wow. Forgetfulman. Floramol. That's a side quest. I don't want to talk to you. Isabel. The Sylphs? Yes, father's told me his stories plenty of times. What I've always found most captivating is how the concept of etiquette is almost completely alien to our own. You'd do best not to underestimate them on account of their childlike looks, lest your face end up a mess of glyphs, squiggles, and chocobo scratches. D. Okay. Joasin. The rest of you outside. Have I? I think I've. I've attuned to you. Yeah, I've attuned to you. Moan. The Sylphs? Inveterate tricksters and troublemakers, that's what they are. One day they're drawing morbid faces on our masks, the next they're sending our young sentries falling to the bottom of a ravine. Tell them to stop and they just laugh at you. Rove claims they harbor no ill will, but I dare, I dare say such pranks are no laughing matter. I mean, yeah. A blazette. The quickest way to a quiver woman's heart might be through her stomach, but don't even think of trying to force your foodstuffs on a sylph. They sustain themselves simply by bathing in the sun. Or so Rolf once told me. So they... are photosynthetic. They're assholes, they're photosynthetic. And don't insult one? Ah, of course, of course, hearing your stories, well, my stories, has brought the memories flooding back to me. I feel... I feel like dancing. Yes, nothing brings people quite together like a little tip, to, a little toe tapping. A sylph told me once ago that dancing is a time honored greeting among their kind. You do well to remember this. It might just may help win the favor of our forest friends. All right, so we dance. We don't insult them. We don't give them food. And uh, they're assholes. You got it. Still here? Great. There's one more thing you should know. Listen to YBN for a bit. Okie dokie, what is YBN? One more thing you should know about the Sylphs. They don't take kindly to guests who show up empty-handed. They're in their trust, you do well to bring along a... Um... What was it again? My wife Rosa and I were just speaking of the matter not days ago. Forgive me, friend. Speak to Rosa at the comb. Her memory should prove more reliable than mine own. Okie dokie. Let's go, Quentin. Bum, bum, ba -da. God, he's so faced. Look at him go. 
Look at his little, look at his little hood. He's like a little, he's got like a little wig. I love this boy. Quentin and Wiggles are my favorite people. Even if they're chocobos. A peace offering for the sylphs. Or to anyone else, I'd recommend a jar of honey, but I fear that wouldn't get, pa get you past their front door, Steph, do you? No, their tastes run more than to, to the unusual. Are you perchance familiar with milk root? That's what we call the root of the fiendish seedkin, the ochu. When chewed, it exudes a cloudy, cloudy liquid that's said to induce curious visions in the imbiber. You'd not catch me dead trying the stuff, but the sylphs seem to enjoy it to no end. I've not seen an ochu around the comb in quite some time, but I did encounter a suspicious clump of grass the other day. I worried to stimulate it somehow, with some of this amber syrup, for example. You might be surprised at what comes out. Good luck. Am I summoning an ochu? Also, I'm pretty sure that there's a variety of Hochu that lives on the other side of the shroud. But... Yeah. Y'all wanna... Y'all wanna... Make drugs? For forest fairies? No, I gotta get off. I guess only interacting with NPCs does that. Interesting. Hey, it's a little Ochu. Poor little guy. Look at that big old mouth. Wow. Up, 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 up. Back to the Hawthorns. Oh, this game is so pretty. Hello. Ah, you're back. Was my wife able to direct you to a suitable offering? We go drugs. Milk root, but of course. Those sylphs quaff that cloudy stuff as quick as I do a flagon of mead. The effect's about just the same as well. Any road a gift of milk root will have the sylphs calling you friend and brother the moment they lay eyes on it. Now let me wrap that up for you. I'm starting to feel a bit woozy. Don't die. I can do my next job quest, but I don't think I can, on account of I think I'm done with, um, Pugilist. We are ready. Now I've taken the liberty of wrapping your milk root well and good. You should keep it fr nice and fresh, not to mention spare you from that god's awful stench. What if I drink it? Drink it? Wow. The sylphs love that stuff, but me, I'd rather bury my nose in chocobo dung. I dare say they, they, the reek even rivals the breath of the Morble that put an end to my adventuring days. Man, Morble breath sucks. But I can tell you that story another time. You've more important matters to attend to today, yes? The Sylphs are an eccentric bunch, but I've shared their company enough to know their kind at heart. They'll not, sh they'll not shun one whose intentions, whose intentions are true. May your parlay be a fruitful one, friend. And do stop by on your return. There's a flag and a full flower mead with your name on it if you'd regale me with your adventuring tales. Ah, and before I forget, don't go chasing off just yet. I'm Elaine here, would, like, would have a word with you. Travel in safety, friend, and do pass along my regards to the winged ones. You got it, guy who I'll probably never see again. Hmm. I'm Elaine. It's good to see your knowledge of civic culture has matured. I see no reason to delay your mission any further. Upon your arrival at Little Solus, seek out a young sylph by the name of Komuxio. He has served as an intermediary between our peoples on many an occasion, and has cl the close ear of his tribe's elder. I see that Hawthorne has furnished you with some of that malodorous root the sylphs so adore. I have something of far greater import for you to deliver. A missive from the elder seed seer herself. To summarize the letter's contents in brief, it vouches for the integrity of our envoy. That would be you. And restates Gridania's desire to maintain a harmonious relationship with our long-standing friends of the forest. 
The war with Ixil has taken a toll. The war with the Ixil has taken a toll on our resources, and we can ill afford to get mired in another conflict. I need not impress upon you any further the importance of this mission. May the twelve see you turn with good tidings. I'm going to die. Bye. Dum, ba -dum, ba -da -da. What do you think the odds are that we actually end up fighting Ramu? Back, welcome back. Play Bullbox while stream. Nice. Also, what is YBN? Bia, I hope you enjoy the Boblux. Are you Komuxio? You look like a little plant. Hello. The walking one is not familiar to this one. This one does not trust strange walking ones. The strange dancing ones might be a different story, but this one expects no such thing. Walking one should go home and leave this one be. I need to dance. Look at me dance. Look at me go. Look at me dance. Your best nightmare. Nice. This one would welcome walking one who moves like these ones. If walking one would talk to this one, this one will answer. This one is a busy one, so walking one should speak with a quick tongue. You got it. Walking one would bring gifts to this one. Walking one is most kind. Here you go. Have some drugs and also a letter. Walking one brings milk root. Milk root fills this one with great joy. It's drugs. This one gives thanks. Gives many. Many thanks. Hey, no problem. Enjoy the hallucinogen. Walking one carries message for Elder One. This one will deliver the message to Elder One. Walking one should not worry. Are you lettuce people? Hey! Hello there, we're envoys from Gurdani, and we're here to treat with your people. Aye, we've come to pay our respects to your elder, and to learn from him more of your Lord Ramu. Who are these ones? These walking ones come from Gurdania? Walking one became a dancing one and brought milk root, but walking one tricks this one. This one does not like tricks. This one will speak no more. Elder one is busy. Walking one should go home. Go home, you say? But the Sylphs of Little Solace have always welcomed Gordanian envoys with open wings. The ledger carried by Weeble here is an oath of peace penned by the Elder Seedseer herself. Still, you would refuse us? This one's reasons are no business of walking ones. Elder One has no words for Gordania. Walking ones waste everyone's time. Well, I never turned away at the gates. Whatever did we do to deserve such a rude welcome? Was Weeble's jig insufficiently jiggy? I could have been more boogie with it. I'm as baffled as you, but something tells me that recent events have our erstwhile fluttery friends feeling uncommonly wary. It would seem we've no choice but to ask around and see how we might earn their trust. Let's go to war. Kill them all. War. <laughs> That's a bad idea. Don't do that. That's a terrible idea. Then I'll be back. Me and my immaculate hair. Hmm. Ida. Say, Weeble, are you in the mood for dancing? Always. That's right, dancing. With all that trouble to learn the Sylph's traditional greeting, but you've hardly greeted any of them. Oh, if I were a Sylph, I'd be beside myself with delight to see an adventurer expressing interest in my culture. Of course, me? Of course I'd be happy to join. There go my bloody leg cramps of mine acting up again. Drink water. Fine. No Lexia. I dance. Look at me go. Look at me go. Ooh, walking one knows Jolly Dance. Jolly Dance fills his gun one with good cheer. Let these two be friends. You got it. <laughs> Amixia. I dance. To the right. Center. To the left. To the right. Center. Walking one would be a friend to these ones. This one is overjoyed. 
but this one keeps the ways of weaving a secret. Even if walking one learned the secret, walking one could not weave in the same way. Hmm. I'm not a weaver. So, well, I have a weaver here, but not very good at it. I'm more of a more of a punch. You know what I mean. Delexia. I dance. No, oh, walking one is friends of these ones. Friendly like gracious elder one of Forest City. Yeah, knows how to dance into these ones' hearts. I did it. I'm a friend. Friend to all sylphs. To the power of dance. Dance, interpretive dance. Weeble, would you like to hear the good news or the better news? The good news is that your lovely dancing has brought smiles and high spirits to little solace. The better news? Why, I've thoroughly recovered from those accursed leg cramps. Onward to our next adventure. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Bum, ba -da 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 -bup. Uh. Uh, Papalino. Okay, I was like, like, there's a quest here, there's a quest there, but those are side quests. Wait, what? Papalino. Yeah, Weevil, as an adventurer, you're no stranger to helping distressed folk, I wager. Tales of good teeth are quick to spread. The adventurer who comes to the aid of the local populace can go from straight to, from stranger to hero overnight. No doubt you see what I'm getting at. The souls who make their home in Little Solace have, been, have so been doing... The, the sylphs who make their home in Little Solace do so. Ha, do so have been. The sylphs who make their home in Little Solace do so having been driven from their woodland home. Interesting sentence there, buddy. Surely they have their fair share of troubles. So you got troubled sylphs and see what might be done to ease their worries. Sound plan, would you not say? That said, the sylphs are not known to share their worries with outsiders. You'd be better off inquiring with Iria Imedia. Of the Gradanians who reside there, if she uh, resides here, she is most likely to be privy to the sylphs' troubles. You got it. Hey, are you a wizard? You look like a wizard. Praised be to the elementals, I cannot express how happy I am to see an adventurer with a truly gentle heart. The sylphs of Little Solace are sorely in need of aid. Pray hear me out. Yeah, what it is. Let me quest. Being a temporary settlement, Little Solace wants for amenities. Not at least a stout set of defenses. Consequently, beasts from malms around are free to wander in and terrorize the hapless residents. The Zizgorlins and Galnats that roam these parts are especially troublesome. But slaying one of each should serve as a warning to the rest. Furthermore, perhaps you could gather three brownie bushes as well. They play an important role in Sylphic culture. I do not claim to know the details. And with what and what with such feral beasts prowling the forests, they're not easily come by. When you are done with the deeds, seek out Kamuxio. He is slow to warm to outsiders, but your good intentions will not be lost on him. My own experience speaks to this. Got a chore list. Playing a Mogus, but not Boblix? Why not a Mogus and Boblix? A Moblix. Yeah. The Ziz Gorlin. They are they are pretty close also. That's terrifying. Bound to die. <laughs> And now I punch a big ass lizard bird to death. It roared at me. <laughs> Terrifying. Ooh, a brownie bush. Wow. That's not a bush, that's a mushroom. That's not a bush at all. A brush, not bush. Man, I'm li I'm I'm literate. It's brownie brownie brush. Hmm. 
Ooh. Fancy. Oh my god, a proper Ochu. Terrifying. Lazy Lawrence. Yeah, I'll do that. Not right now. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that guy. I did it. I killed the huge fucking bug. Alright, spin time. Up, 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 up. And when you sprint with the fists of winds, you go so fast. You go so fast. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Hey, Kamuxio, I did the thing. Uh, dancing one is still here. Dancing one can dance all day. This one's trust is not so easily earned. Hey, you want some mushrooms? Hmm. Dancing one brings brownie bushes for this one. This one can die thread once more. This one is pleased. Dancing one kills bitey buzzy one. This one hates, hates, hates bitey buzzy ones. Dancing one is kind. Too kind. Many walking ones come to these one's abode, but few are friendly like dancing one. Perhaps this one was wrong not to trust dancing one after all. Yeah. Trust me. I'm a good boy. This one asks dancing one for forgiveness. These ones have many troubles since walking ones last came to our abode. This one must be careful. Always careful. But dancing one is not like the other walking ones. Whoops. Strange walking ones with bodies of steel come to the homes of these ones. This one thinks steel ones come from Empire. Where Empire goes, many living ones become dead ones. The trees fall and bushes burn. This, these one's home is in danger. Danger! Will Robinson. This one begs of Dancing One to help this one no more. Dancing One is friends with these ones and walking ones, yes? And dancing One must speak to these ones here and walking ones in Hut House and find out more. This one has bad feeling. This one fears steel ones are after something. But this one should speak no more. Go, Dancing One. This one depends on kindness of Dancing One. You get it. Anybody ever tell you you talk weird? Probably get that all the time. Nathaxio. Sh shush, this one says. Steel walking ones are scary like touched ones. This one hates scary, and scary ones have scary friends. Hmm. Scared of the Empire. Fair enough, they're pretty scary. They do like to burn everyone down. Ah! <laughs> I'm gone. Elixia. The strange steel walking ones. Yes, this one is seen. Steel walking ones carry big boxes. Maybe hunt walking ones hunt for shiny treasure. This one likes treasure. I too like treasure. I doubt that's what they're looking for, though. They're probably getting ready to set up camp or something. Maybe they're going to try and blow up the sylphs. That's a possibility. A terrifying prospect. But a possible one. Blazette. Hello. That's not what I wanted. Moan again. Men clad in strange armor? Why, now that you mention it, I did see some suspicious types of late. They were gathering deep in the forest. I simply assumed they were adventurers. Nope, they're, uh, they're evil. We're all going to die. Probably. Victor. They are fearsome types clad in head... Fearsome types clad head to toe in steel, you say? Imperial soldiers, no doubt. 
can tell you what they're plotting, but I'm sure it's nothing good. Is it ever? Is it ever? I do like Imperial Armor, though. It does look really neat. Oh my god, they're so shiny. God, look at my boy. I'm still so proud of him. Oh. No, that's like ruins or something. There's a lot of this forest I haven't explored, so I don't know where the Empire could wind up being. Also, I just noticed. <laughs> they got floating, they got like hanging houses here. Very cool. Is one as happy to see Dancing One return? What did Dancing One learn? A lot of things. This one sees. Steal one. Walking ones come from Empire. Carry boxes and go deep. Walking deep. Deep through trees. As this one thought. Steel walking ones are up to nasty, no good things. This one knows forests well. Steel walking ones try to hide, but this one will find them. This one would borrow Dancing One's map. This one makes mark right here. This is where Steel One hides. Steel One's hide, this one knows. Dancing One will go looking for Steel Ones, yes? I'm gonna go murder some Imperial assholes. Oh wait, they're right there. No, I figured they'd be farther away. Ba -da. Oh, we're just looking for clues, I see. A suspicious box with a dangerous presence around it. <gasps> Hello. The third cohort. You just paralyzed me, you shit. How dare you? Anyway, now that you're all dead. What you got in here, eh? A quartermaster's log. Something tells me we're about to have a big ass fight with a bunch of Imperial boys. Also, I love the name Boring Weevil. I do don't think they're very exciting. Dancing One is back. This one breathes a sigh of relief. This one was worried. Dancing One found something. I did. Here you go. Enjoy. Dancing One found paper inside of a box. This is a message from Empire. This one can read Walking One's symbols. Message paper has names of food and rocks. Food and rocks were inside boxes. This one knows. This one does not understand. Food and rocks mentioned all come from homes of these ones. How to steal Walking One's know to find them? Is there sneaky one hiding out behind this one's wings, snooping, selling secrets to steal Walking's ones? This one fears for this one's own home. But Dancing One has helped this one much today. Dancing One must promise to always be friends to this one. As long as we chill, we chill, Kamuxio. Pining for a wayward friend. Oh my god. Helpful one arrives at a good time. This one needs help for one's help. One of these ones named Klaxio ventured outside Little Solus alone. Alone is unsafe. Helpful one must find Klaxio. Klaxio struck west after leaving the settlement. Hurry before Klaxio ends up in the belly of a beastly one. They're going to die. Probably. Klaxio. Crackalaka. Clap. Please clap. Hey. What walking one wants this one one to return to Little Solus? Don't make this one laugh. 
This one is wary of living with those ones who are not these ones. This one wants to be alone. These ones rely on walking ones for everything. No better than those ones that summoned a primal one. Small wonder this one chose to leave. This one thought that a likely place thought this a likely place to build a home. But then meddling one arrives, forces this one to go deeper into the forest. Meddling one is forbidden from following this one. Away with meddling one. Okay, bye. Hey, um, I don't think they want me to be friend. Be friends with them. One hour, I'll stay. Nice. Yeah, we're a little over an hour, but we got a lot to go. I really want to unlock some classes. There's some classes that I really want to play that we need to we need to do a lot of story to get to. What? Laxio refused to return these ones and went deeper into the forest. But this one saw touch ones looking in the forest. Alpha one must hurry, hurry and find Laxio. Alpha one should search for spools of thread on the forest floor. These things will lead helpful one to Claxio. But hurry, hurry before touched ones take Claxio away. Wait, something just occurred. Worse than the ones that summoned Primal. Ramu's already awake, isn't he? Ugh. Hey, we're doing the boss fight. <laughs> Something tells me we got a boss fight with that boy in our near future. Also, I like these boars mohawks. Yeah, if we can kick, if we says we can kick Ramu. Ooh, it's full of thread. I guess he lost him. Oh no. A tremulous moogle. Oh. I'm here to help. Oh my god! Boss fight, woo! Yeah! Hey, we got this! Where you going? Mage! Well, anyway. Have fun. <laughs> I'm not going that far. Is that a player? That yeah, is. Plaxio. Oh, this doesn't seem good. Come into battle for... Oh, God. Oh, it's an instance fight. Oh. Shit's about to go down, brother. Let's go. <sighs> meddling one is back. This one told meddling one to be gone. Tell Kamuxio that this one will never go back. Never. Oh, God. Touch ones. Touch one should go away too. This one is good one. Everyone should just leave this one alone. Eats the last piece of the cake. Hey, you should have shared. How dare you? Well, Glaxio's about to get uh, yoinked. Be on guard, people. These sylphs have been tempered. Brought under the thrall of the primal Ramu. Akin to the Amalja tempered by Ifrit. These sylphs exist only to serve their deity. They'll not answer to words, only steal. I take no pleasure in this, but it must be done. Let's beat him up. I got friends. Oh my god. Laxio, these ones are your friends. 
Come with this one, serve the primal. This one is good one, never go with bad ones. What a good boy. That's right, attack me. Oh no, stop, please, please stop attacking me. My dealing one is on some much anger. This one, this one has many friends in the forest. Oh boy! Oh, bull and things were going so well. Oh my god! I did it. Yeah, run. Run, you coward. <laughs> this is B-Day cake and chocolate. Oh, yeah. How did you enjoy your birthday? <laughs> this one is safe. This one was so scared. Galaxio, this one has been worried. So very worried. Is Galaxio unharmed? Still in position of wits? Mucio and meddling one as well. Why are these two here? These two came to rescue Claxio. That Claxio is safe fills this one with joy. Mucio, forgive this one. This one did not mean to run away from Little Solus. This one was just afraid. These ones who live at Little Solus were changing, becoming friendly with other ones. This one feared that these ones were forgetting who these ones are, like touched ones did. But this one was wrong. This one can see that now. And square? Square cake? Mm. Meddling, a uh, helpful one. This one is grateful. This one will return to Little Solus to be with Komuxio and friendly ones. Bye-bye. All's well that ends well. Well, that should see to that. What say we return to Little Solus as well? I, for one, could do with a nice hot bath. Uh, yep. 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 Yep, brother, yep. Who wants a bath? ba -da. I took a shower right before we started. Makes me feel nice and clean. And there's a lot going on over there. Oh, there's a fate with gnats. That's a, that explains things. Amuxio! This one thought Calaxio was lost forever. Helpful one slaved, saved Calaxio. Now these ones can be family again. This one has known many wa walking ones, even many kind walking ones. But helpful one is kindest and strongest of all. Helpful one is a hero to these ones. Helpful one will bring these ones and walking ones closer together. This one knows. This one would take helpful one to see elder one. But elder one is. Elder one is. Elder one is. What is what? Are they a tree? Oh my god, are we gonna meet the Deku tree? I'd reinstall Undertale. Enjoy! Not to be in low and oh my god! Mount speed is increased. Oh my god. Wow. I lost that and I see Flowey. Oh, is he mad at you? This one must ask kind one's forgiveness. This one made promise to take kind one to see elder one, yes, but this one cannot. This one cannot because elder one is not here. 
Elder One is not anywhere. Elder One went into forest yesterday, but does not come back. This one is worried. Elder One often goes into forest, but never, never for this long. Find One will help find Elder One, yes? Near where Elder One disappeared is the home of a walking one named Buscaran. Buscaran may know, may know what happened to Elder One. This one would talk to Buscaran. But walking ones do not always trust these ones. Would kind one talk to Buscaran for this one? And kind one comes from Gordania, yes? In Gordania live many kind ones, yes? This one begs of kind one. Please go to Gordania and ask fellow kind ones for help. And please hurry. These ones are not safe until Elder One returns. I see. Something tells me shit's about to go down. Oh my god, mount speed did increase. Zoom! Oh my god. Look at Quentin go! He's beat the undone fight, not anymore. Ah. Damn. That's like halfway through the game. Well, almost. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. That's a lot of data loss. That's like, what, two, three hours of, of work? The old Gridania. And then we go to new Gridania. So good. Oh my god. Such a cheerful song. I like Old Da more as a city, but this is a very cheerful song. Well, if it isn't our intrepid ambassador, how fare your diplomatic efforts with the Sylph tribes? Their elders gone missing, you say? Why, if you were to end up in the hands of the Tempered Ones, we'd have a crisis on our hands. You can assure the Sylphs that my sharpest eyed serpents will be on the lookout in night and day. No stone must be left unturned. I would ask you to crawl upon the Ya- uh, call upon Ya Mulga. Have been branch- been to branch meadows and deliver the message that the Wood Whalers are needed in the search effort. Gotta watch Undertale things, beer be Enjoy. I I'm gonna play more Final Fantasy, obviously. Ba -da, ba -da -da -da. How far am I from I feel like I'm pretty far from what I need what I need. Like level wise. And quest wise. Let's let's see. Spirited away. Oh my god. One second.
Man, I'm a long way off from becoming a Dark Knight. Sorry, that's what I was looking up. I need to basically beat everything to get the Dark Knight. We'll be at this for a while. <laughs> Wait, what about Red Mage? Sorry about all this. I'm really curious. How do I become a Red Mage? No, I need to be level 50. Wait, that's Stormblood. I can't be a red mage. Never mind. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Bum, bum, Sorry about all that side of stuff. I really wanted to know because there's some. I want to switch to Dark Knight. Dark Knight. To Dark Knight. So I can rise. A message from Commander Hulwa, you say? Silfelder has vanished. Are we not friends? The Wood Wailers have eyes under every leaf, behind every branch. If the Elder is anywhere in these forests, we shall find him. Doki doki. Now we need to go to Buscarin. In the South Shroud. Whoop. Whoop. I'm looking forward to meeting him. It seems like they have a lot of, uh, mites. They got a bit of a mite problem here. Yeah, have fun with that. I'm going adventuring. And by adventuring, I mean main quests. Because there's a lot of main quests. <laughs> it's a long-ass game. Like, it's almost as if it's a full-fledged Final Fantasy game or something. Maybe even several. Who knows? Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Sorry, I really like this, this song. I love the Chocobo music. I've always loved Chocobo music. I've always loved chocobos. They're adorable. They're lovely. They're my they're my boys. Wait a minute. What are you guys doing here? Lumbus Garen is a good friend of ours, and there's no place like his for the latest gossip in the South Shroud. <clears throat> the Sylphs are known to avoid the South Shroud. What could have compelled the Sylph Elder to come here? The question of motive must wait. Finding him is our foremost priority. With things relatively calm over in Little Solas, we can focus our search effort on this area. Why would he come here? Amdapur? Be Amdapur. Also, we, uh, Isomhar is right here. That's the Palace of the Dead. Could be multiple reasons. Mm 
Well met, adventurer. We have the finest grog and grub this side of... Eh, not here to feel, fill your belly, then. Uh, hunger for news, is it? Ah, uh, there's been talk of a sylph lurking hereabouts, but I couldn't say rightly if it be the elder you seek. Those woodland scamps all look alike. Short of a painting, short of painting one red and another one blue. Most folk would n would struggle to tell the two of them apart. If you have the time, mayhap you could stay a while and see what the gods have in store. You never know, you may even stumble across a sylph elder yourself. In here? Did you come to drink? I mean, maybe. Egg. Just gonna give me an egg. Found the flowy one. The flowy what? The f like in game flowy? Wow. No word on the Sylph Elder yet, but I'm sure it's only a matter of time. In the meantime, how about doing a favor for the old Buscara and in return? Right then, let's put you to work. There's a customer outside who's spoiling for a fight, and I need you to cool him off for me. No need, no need to go cracking any skulls though. Just take this tub of cold water and douse the drunkard. Tends to do the trick. My patrons can still grog all night and carouse loud enough to wake the dead if they wish. But as soon as it turns violent, I've got to put my, but my boot down. i got to put my butt down. And drop it low. And drop it to the floor. Hmm. Meh. The flowery episode. Of what? Ah, uh, no figures teeds, that's gold. What do you mean, no fighting? This dust white scum was... Yeah, yeah, I know the rules. That bastard needs to keep his skin. For now. If we're gonna murder him, do it in the woods. Yeah, nicely done, Weevil. I'll not have my patrons picking fights with each other over a bit of petty prejudice. As you didn't see, the bloke who caught the brunt of that outburst is a dusk white Ellison. There are people who shun cities to live in the wilds, making them no better than brigands in the eyes of many. To be fair, the dusk whites can be an unruly lot, but they ain't so bad once you get to know them. And it don't seem right to a bar a whole it don't seem right to bar a whole race of people from the druthers for the misdeeds of a few. There should be at least one place where anyone willing to pay the coin and drink his in peace is welcome. Don't you think? Yeah, why'd you give me an egg? I mean, these are trying times, and I appreciate it, but still, why? I appreciate all the good you've done for our patrons. If you aren't disinclined, I have a favor of my own to ask you. There's a Kakirin fan of mine, you see. Name of Tetarun. A good lad. It was right after the calamity that I came across him fallen in the shroud. He nearly died in all the havoc. Yeah, so I took him in and nursed him back to health best I could. He worked here at my druthers for a spell after that. Got to talking about striking out on his own, he did. And not long after, he cast his lot with a merchant bound for Lenosha. Well, it just so happens, I got to cleaning up around here and came across something of his. This scarlet earring. I know where he's, I know he was fond of the thing. But he must have forgotten just when... Ju he must have just forgotten it when he left. So I'd like to see that it gets to him. Can't sh say for sure where he ended up, but might be a friend of mine can. A Rugadan fellow named Benswig. Or Bensing. You can find him on Hawker's Alley in Limsa Luminsa. He knows everything of the comings and goings of merchants there. Oh my god, all the way to Limsa? Yeah. Episode four, 14 of what? Episode 14 of what? Yeah, fine. I'm going all the way to Limsa. Let me just spend all this money, I guess. I'm gone. Teleported like a demon in the wind. All right, where is this guy? That way. Oh my, oh my God, is that guy wearing a thong? I gotta go. Oh my God. 
That lady's very pink. Pup, 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 pup. Ben Singh. Hello. You found your way to Augur's Alley, friend. Hmm. You can what lurk that the job is. Ah, you speak of Shetam Rune. Related to that Kyokyo Rune bloke just over there by some blood or another. Two of them put together and were making good coin, but old Tev Rune up and left Limsa not long ago. Couldn't say as to why or where. You're better off asking Kyokyo Rune himself. You can be tight of flip, though, I warn you. Best to take this chicken egg with you. The little bastard loves the bloody things. Yeah, good to hear about old Busker, though. It sounds about it sounds as though we ain't changed a bit. Just send him just like him to send a venture along. He's trying to calm his own self. Go out some mist drinking with that fool. He sent me all the way across the fucking continent. Alright, you want an egg? Can I offer you an egg in this trying times? Customer be welcome. Not customer? Not come with custom? Kyoko run busy with business. Too busy for blather. You want an egg? Mm, chicken egg. Kyoko run love chicken egg. Mm, I love chicken egg more than love customer. Looking for Tetarun? Tetarun no here no more. Tetarun leave Limsa. Tetarun go look for sparklies. Now working at trading post. Good trading post. Forget what trading post is. Weinberg no Tetarun. Weinberg no trading post. Weinberg a fairy docks. You go to fairy docks. Kyokurun forget things. Weinberg remember things. You talk to Weinberg, not Kyokurun. God, I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> all right, I'm going all the way down here. I need to go to the, the Fisherman's Guild. Why do all of the beast races talk so weird? A dead room? Ah, I have seen him. That is to say, I saw him. He was headed somewhere up north, by way of the fairy tale aleport. Might as well head there and see what you can suss out. Skipper here can take you there. When you arrive, I'd start by asking Oldfoot. He's an old he's an old hand what knows a great deal about many, great many things. Ooh, Oldfoot. Off to aleport we go. Man, I'm on like a... I'm on a manhunt for this guy. One of these days we'll find him. Now we won't. We'll never find him. We're lost. Whatever. Whatever lost. Hey, there's Oldfoot. Never mind. Ah, uh, Titaroon. Uh, I saw him. That is to say, I seen him. He took himself north through Skull Valley into Oakwood. He was looking for a place run by his fellow Kakirn. I reckon he meant the one right by the side of, right on the shore of Bronze Lake, the Maroon's trading post. Follow the road and you're sure to find it. <sighs> you got it. It's a Hagen. Listen to two Allens or Alulos. Listen to all of us. Play every video I have at once. I'm sure it'll go well. God, I love jamming to the... Is it storming? I love jamming to the Chocobo theme. I've been here, I think. Wee Custom of you welcome. Not custom, not come with custom. Bring something for Tetarun. Ah, yeah, earring. Here you go. Tetarun, forget this. Forget a druthers. Tetarun's war would never forget earring. But never, uh, but never forget forgot. Tetarun, thanks. Tetarun, thank. Good Buskarun doing good. Good Buskarun good to Tetarun. Tetarun miss good Buskarun. <laughs> oh, well. 
the Give me the money. I need to pay for all these fucking teleportations. Hmm, good Buskaroon helped Tetarun. Tetarun dead without good Buskaroon. Let's give thankies. Many, many thankies. Tetarun make a can fire water for Buskaroon. Buskaroon love fire water. Yo, Tetarun make fire water. Need thingies to make. Need many, many thingies. Need curl pup whiskers. Need three good curl pup whiskers. That's not many, many things. That's, uh, three things. Glad I got a ticket to see him fight Flowey. How much you pay for that ticket? You pay in advance? You get it on pre-order? We make our- Whoa, Jesus. We make our profit off ticket sales, you know. I need to kill these guys. Sorry, nothing personal. You just... You're marked for death. I'm sorry. I need to do this. Oh my god, I need to murder like a million kobolds. I need to murder three of each type. Oh my god. I got one. I got seals for that. Nice. That's how I get promoted. And I do need promoted. Because if I get promoted, that means I can get better equipment. Nice. I think that's good for a peep. Alrighty. I'm sorry about that, boys. I just had to murder some some of y'all. You understand? It's simply business. Whee! Wow. Double the classic Aliulo. Aliulo everywhere. Nothing but Alan. That's the life you choose to live. Nothing but Aliulo videos on loop. What a fucking dragon. Oh yeah. That is a dragon. Actually it's not, it's a death gazer. But I kicked his ass. I already fought him. He's kinda mean. And he's a pretty rough fight. Yes, ow! Smurg. It was a rough fight. Oh my god, paralysis. Ugh. All right. Ta da! Magic. I murdered them all. It's just that easy. God, I thought that was one name. I thought that was going to be one long ass name. <laughs> Uh, 
da da ba ba You have to make fire water for biscuit round. You bring things you set their own need. Yep, here you go. Hmm. You brought all things you set their own. Make fire water now. Make good fire water for good biscuit round. I can hide this. Oh, god damn it. I need to stop trying to close the chat box while I'm in dialogue. Now what? Dad's gonna make fire water. Good, good fire water. You take the best good rune. Good fire water for good best good rune. Not best good rune, no drink now. Put away one year. Tell one year, make best flavor. Hmm. Get the rune holds best good rune happy. Dad's gonna give best good rune thankies. Many, many thankies. You tell best good rune. Hmm. Tell the rune make a big shock someday. Biggest shop in Aeros. Yeah. Many, many, many sparklies. All thanks to good best good rune. Yeah. Well, anyway. That's in the South Shroud, isn't it? Let's go to Quarry Mill. Oh, man. Well, that was a quest. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting to go on a giant adventure. For beer. Oh yeah. If I talk to this guy and go to the Palace of the Dead. Which is pretty fun. It's like a roguelike uh, procedurally generated dungeon. It's pretty cool. It's one of the cool, many cool things that you can encounter in this game that I quite like. I like a little stuff like that. Oh my god. That's a glowy horse. Oh my god. Hey, I'm here on a chocobo. Well, you've returned. Thanks for seeing the Zetarun's belongings to him. What's this for me? Here, go have some fire water. Okay, here in fire water. So he remembers my fondness for the drink, does he? Well, that old... He... I... Aw, oh, bloody hell. Who's cutting onions back there? He says to shelf it for a year, does he? Ah, that sounds about right. I hate to have to wait, but I reckon it'll be worth it. This stuff has an aroma and body unlike any other drink I know. It's gonna be a long year. They come back then, friends. We'll see if we can't make it through this bottle together. I'll never see you again. Give me money, please. I had to pay for so many teleports. There we go. Good. I paid for my teleport. There was a word while you were away. Sylphs were seen in the wood but near no lands of their own. Uh, this was a place near to here. A place we've never known a self to come. Something must have given them cause to venture this far. More than like the missing sylph elders among them. Here, I've marked the tract where they were sighted on your map. Go see if there's anything to be seen. Oh my god! It's happening. It's happening. Plot progression. Oh my god! I bet he's dead. Or not. He probably got kidnapped and we're going to have to fight Ramu. Probably. Hmm. What do you see, Wiggles? <sighs> Big sniff. Yeah. I smell. Old people. Oh my god! Imperial bitch! Oh my god, he stunned me. I'll do the favor. Ya yeah, boy hasted. Oh well. If only he'd hasted, hasted just a little bit faster. Maybe I wouldn't have beaten his ass into dust. Oh, hey, someone else doing this quest. Boop, 
I need right there. Yep. Yep. Come on, Quentin. You can make this climb. You're a big boy. I believe in you. Hmm. Yeah, this area is very specific. Now, where does this wind up? Is it up? Uh, is it up there? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely up there. Up and around. That's what I always say. Sometimes. There it is. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, hmm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Overpower. You look at that, buddy. Imperial skin. Get bodied. Whoop. Anyway, back to the bar. We gotta turn in. Tell them that we kicked everyone's ass, as expected. Ain't no one gonna be weeble wobble. I, n I never fall down. That means I never die. Heroes never die. Neither do Spartans. That's basically me. So there was ought to be found in the wood. What did you come to? Garleans in this part of the Twelves Wood. First Sylphs and now Garleans all in the same place. It cannot be mere coincidence. Might the Garleans be following the Sylphs? Tracking them or giving chase, mayhap? No, not this far into the forest. The Whaler Spires are everywhere. Imperials could never have stolen past them all. On the bloody hells could they... Unless... Someone, unless someone guided them through. Someone who knew where the spires stand and where the whale, and when the whalers watch a Gridanian traitor. <gasps> oh my god! Another. Wow. Give me more money. Da 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 I'm glad you've come, friend. There's something I want to talk to you about. You know, I said I thought we might have a traitor in our midst. Someone who has, has was aiding the Garleans. Well, I'm thinking I may have identified our suspect. There's a regular of mine who used to dine on thin soup and sip his pint on account of not being able to afford another. But of late, he's taken to ordering my best wines and my finest cuts of meat I can lay my hands on. Were he a merchant, I'd probably think nothing nothing of it. But this ma this lad's a wood whaler. Nude whalers don't earn that kind of coin. By chance, I was musing on where the money was coming from when you first told me about the Garleans in the forest, and I couldn't help putting two and two together. Suffice it to say, if a whaler is working for the Empire, none of us is safe. The lad I'm talking about goes by the name of Laurentius. Last I heard, he was in the South Shroud. Find him, Weeble, and if he is up to no good, put an end to it, and him if it comes to that. I'll murder him. I'll, I'll murder him. Good. He'll die. I'll strangle him in his bed. Like any good soldier. Oh, Laurentius. A person RP walking. Very cool. Laurentius, good sir. What may I, you be doing out here in the middle of fucking nowhere? You need not see I'm on patrol. Be gone. If you have business with the whalers, take it to the barracks. And there he goes. Laurentius. Laurentius. Where are you going? Uh oh. You're not very good at this. Not long now. You think patrol routes and rations would fetch such a price? More, no more than I deserve, though. Tis little wonder the Empire's risen to, risen to such heights. 
Only the whalers paid men their worth. Allen's a good name, is it? I think it is. Bacon's a pretty good name, too, Bacon. <laughs> you, what did you... How long have you... Help, help, help! Please come quick, my friends. It is I, Laurentius. I am under attack. I mean, you weren't, but now you are. Why are you like this? How, how did you? You just... I, I know nothing. I was on patrol. He just appeared. I, I thought you were working for the Garleans. God, he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> All right, Lawrence. I'm gonna put me through all this bullshit. I'm gonna put you through the ringer. You wanna? You wanna play uh, Bloody Knuckle? Hey, nice. How long do you mean to keep this up? What is it you imagine I've done? Enough, enough, I say. Dude, I heard you admit it. It's over, then. I sold maps and rations to the Empire. It was I. I meant no harm. I only wanted the coin. The Whalers are good. Strong. I was proud to join their ranks. Am proud. But they do not provide. They preach justice, honor, duty. But in the end, it is those with money who do as they will, who live as they will. So I sought an opportunity to change my fortunes, and I took it. Took it. All I've done, I've done for money. Endangered myself, my home, everything, and any, everyone I love. While well, my actions put your life in danger, too. YouTube should support gifts in live chat. YouTube... There's a lot of things that he could do for live experiences, but that's not their primary focus, so fair enough. Yeah, man, oh hi. Hey, Jerry. How are you doing, my dude? <laughs> Though you do not re yet realize how much. <laughs> Bloody idiot. Did you imagine that you had cornered me? It is not I who is cornered. Garleans, I've brought the Lalafell bastard. Permit me a question, if you will. Are all adventurers so deluded as to believe they can challenge the power of Garlemald? You would need a veritable amount of gill to fund such an endeavor, such as the cost of fighting great power, or of making it, or of remaking it as we will Gridania. So that's the way of it. Swapped your hard bunk at the barracks for a feathery bed in Garlemald, did ya? Heck, pshie. Back to all that day. It's nice to see you back. You there, Lalafell? You stand here at Old Busk's wish, no? Then you don't stand alone. Didn't I kick the shit out of a bunch of red bellies? You stand against a mighty empire with this red belly rabble at your side? Heh. <laughs> I mean. Nice. Legless Laurentius? He definitely will be when I'm done with him. Kim Legend is so cool. This game is really cool. Oh my god! on the beach of uh, the beach of what? My 
got all the people I've been kicking the shit out of her here. Hey, you guys have fun with them. I'm gonna... I'm gonna help the Stinger beat up our boy. Our good friend. Did he just heal? You son of a bitch. Coward. Now nah, you guys are done over there. Focus fire. Kick his ass. How, how has it come to this? Uh, your fault. Is it a Mori mod on FNF? I'm not surprised. Impossible. How did you best the Empire's finest and with bandits and poachers at your side? They are sworn enemies. Why do they fight with you and not against you? No, but I know the answer only too well. Wuskaran. This is his doing. His words are wont to inspire men to ask, to act better men than I. Gods, what have I become? What have I done? I, I am sorry. No more will I pursue this folly. No more lies. No more bribes. I will go to the Order of the Twin Adder and confess my crimes. There's something I would like to tell you, you to tell Buscaran. Tell him, Laurentius, the fool says thank you. Feel as though a veil has been lifted from before my eyes. Well, he's going to die. They're going to execute his ass. Have fun, buddy. Bum, bum, bada. You ever just punch a dude until he decides he wants to go to jail so that you'll stop punching him? I learned just confessed to his crimes. I just had word from the Twin Adder. Seems he marched straight into the nest and gave himself up. The lads had quite a life, you know. His mother was killed by a brigand when he was only so small. As a young man, he joined the whalers, hoping to spare his fellow Gridanians the misery he'd known growing up. Trouble is, protecting Gridania is too big a job for one man, and he came to believe he couldn't make a difference. That it was hopeless. There are few things more dangerous than desperation. And a man lost in the dark is easily drawn to the glimmer of coin. I reckon he thought that if he couldn't change the lot of his fellow man, he might as well change his own. Thing is, he was making a difference. Just not on his own. Somehow, he'd failed to grasp one simple truth. That those things we cannot do alone, we must do together. Now, he asked you to thank me, did he? And there's good in him yet. I just hope them at the Adder's Nest are able to see it. What he's done ain't easy to forgive, but I'd like to think he can be afforded a chance to make amends. Let us leave fates to the Twelve. I have other news for you, Weevil. The self elder has been found. Wow. Nice. Where are they? I need to talk to them. Ah. Yeah. This is a dungeon. <laughs> Here we go. Ah. It's taken us a fair old while, but we finally got our hands in some reliable information concerning the whereabouts of your missing green friend. Ahem, his name is Frixio, and he's the eldest among the sylphs of Little Solus. Long as he represented his kind in dialogue with the Gridanians. Yes, he's like a bridge between us and them. A small leafy green bridge that we can't find at the moment. And bridges are no use if you don't know where they are, and that's why it's so important why we, that we have him. There's an abandoned dungeon called the Thousand Maws of, T of Total Rock here in the South Shroud. Shroud. It was by the entrance to the place that Frixia was seen. And not long ago, neither. If you hurry, I reckon you'll find him. 
walking ones. Please help this one. This one needs help. Uh, needs help to help welder one. Four Frixio. Four more Frixio. All set. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold your chocobo. Take a deep breath and tell us what's wrong. Nice and slow. The elder one went into Total Rock, but it's not returned. This one is worried, so very worried. <laughs> and you're right to be. The place fair crawls with nasties waiting to make a meal of anyone daft enough to wander in. His head just vibrated. The chat's filled with Amori. Amori will never die. Hidden Morse code in the uh, game. Oh. Secrets. What in the seven hells was he thinking entering that bloody death trap? Elder One had no choice. If you once were chasing Elder One, please. Walking Ones must help Elder One. Help Elder One now. Now, the fates conspire against us. Forgive my pragmatism, but Frixio is our best hope of reaching an accord with the Sylphs. Were we to lose him, all our efforts thus far would have been for naught. I will tend to her wounds, Ida. Make haste to the Addis Nest and request assistance. Require asked. Request assistance. Understood. Very recycling and how good it is. Hmm. That's as good as a subliminal message as I as you can get, I suppose. It's time to recycle. Right now. We will go to the thousand maws of Toto Rock and see that Frixio comes to no harm. The east between men and Sylph rests upon your success. You can count on me. Look at me. I'm fucking cute. You got it. Buddy. Come on, Wiggles. We got a world to save. Or at least an old man. Blazeron. By the order of the Elder Seed Seer, the dungeon known as the Thousand Maws of Totorak has been placed under the control of... What? The Sylph Elder is inside. Are you sure of this? How in the Seven Hells did he manage to sneak by? God struck me down for a purblund fool. We must find the Sylph Elder before he falls prey to the fiends within. Entrance to Totorak is ordinarily restricted, but these are exceptional circumstances. Pray assemble a rescue party and enter as soon as you are ready. Here we go. Mori knows Morse code. True. Get out the eye in the game and stuff. The eye in what game? And to tote the rock we go. Mary. What are you talking about? <laughs> Mori game. Okay, what eye? chat for this. <sighs> the one hidden in the vines. Oh, you mean the 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 something? The something that appears all the time. Called something, and yes, it is Mary. Spoilers for Amori, by the way. If for some reason you haven't seen it. I say for some reason. Under the assumption that people watch everything I do, which is a little a little weird. A little weird of an assumption to make. Um, but um, yeah. Oh my god, can I climb the tree? Wow. I have become one with the forest. My ankles. 
If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm killing time until it's time to go kick ass. And chew bubble gum. And chew ass. And kick bubble gum. And gum ass. And chew kick. I'm gonna see how many doorways of here is in until I can. It's everywhere. The something can appear literally, literally everywhere. And we do this until the until it's time to go kick ass. Mind if I do? Go ahead. I've already beaten the game, and the game and uh, my second playthrough is canceled. So go ahead. <laughs> I cough. I too cough. Need to get go. Need to go get another drink soon. I'm all out of Coke. My diet Coke. Oh no. You know, I think it would have been better if I moved that second deer ring over to this year. Because this year's in the open. My space doorway, block space doorway, house doorway, etc. Every doorway. He's everywhere. Yeah. Something is everywhere. Like the flowery plush, plush. I'm sure it's great. I haven't gotten a new stuffed animal or stuffed anything in a long time. I used to buy them all the time for my work, cause I got, I got stuff for like a discount. So I'd buy a bunch of stuffed animals, cause we sold stuffed animals, so I had a bunch of them. Got an entire, an entire uh, bookshelf covered in stuffed animals. Not dumb. Ba, 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 ba. Hey, let's go. All right, dungeon time. <sighs> he has like grass stuff on the bottom flower and his evil expression. That's pretty good. Oh, this place is gonna be fun. Oh, baby. We're in. Two pugilists. Um, where's our tank going? Tank?
<laughs> nothing on the back, just you can't change faces, nothing in the back. Emptiness a hundred minutes. Sometimes it feels like it takes forever. I don't think we can go that way. Let's go this way. Wow. but I recommend it. I'm sure it's good. It sounds good. Sorry if I don't talk too much during dungeons. There's a lot going on generally. Hey, I'm glad you like it. Tainted Laos. Doing well, doing well, doing well. Doing, doing well, everyone. Oh, whoa, what is this? Not be a woe, yes. A woe. A woe? What is this? Nothing but a woe. A woe? A woe. Wowee. Alila says a woe for two hours. You got it. A woe. 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 Oh whoa. 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 Oh whoa, my god, look at that face. Oh whoa. Oh whoa. 
Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Halil gets tired of saying, oh, whoa. Not gonna happen. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, wee, whoa, wee. Oh, whoa, my God. That's a lot of boys. Oh, whoa. 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 Dandelion. Dandelion. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Ugh. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. A web. Spider a web. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Sounds like hello to me. Hello. 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 Ah, hello. 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 I'm a little hawangui. Shouldn't be, but I am. Hello. 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 I'm not the one year anniversary of the thing happening right now. I never ended. Hello. 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 Hey, whoa. Come on, I'm so, I'm so low, whoa. I'm so low, whoa. Yeah. Green thing that ends with an S. Green thing that ends with an S. Link. Kind of ends with an S. Oh, whoa. God damn it. Oh, whoa. Anyway, I'm done with that. Mostly because my jaw's starting to get tired. <laughs> Did you say the name of the va of the virus? You got it. Might get YouTubed. Man, YouTube already put me at risk at, on their suic their risk of suicide <laughs> list. So, what's another one?
Whoa! Here I am, in the dungeon, punching bugs, millions of bugs, lots of bugs. The name of the boat in the Titanic, uh, uh, the Titanic. Yeah, it's got to be the Titanic. Got to be. I've seen the movie once. That's got to be the answer. Loading. Why loading? Are you trying to buffer? Vaccination? Wowee. God damn it. Why is it always me and the mage? <laughs> the no test thing no test who made the no test thing text ah I see what is the no text thing God, look at him. He's so goddamn cute. Oh. Darkness. An Asian. Okay, real quick, did that that guy just come on me? Mayhap I might if I deign to speak in my guest crew tongue. We meet at last. Hello. Lahabrea of the Asians, servant to the one true God. Lahabrea. Yours is a most fantastical tale, truly absorbing. It is a tale to tell Eorzea's children before bedtime, and it will soon be dark, bringer of light. Hey, hey, Yinky. How are you this evening? This world and darkness is an irksome anomaly in the ether. The echo. Yes. Yours is a most fascinating. So then you know I'm still alive. I'm glad to hear. Alas, like all good well, I met a flesh or original flower won't know. What if he's a meat flower? Not. This guy's an asshole, by the way. Of evil. 
For the end of your tale is but the beginning of another. The tale of the crystal's demise. Oh boy. Hey, my life, I'm still alive. Well, I'm glad you are. I'm glad you are still alive. Oh my god, is the Queen Goma? Well, I have organs. He's made of meat. Yeah, I'm glad you're alive, Inky. Yeah. Whatever, where's everyone else gone? Hello? Friends? I hope you I hope you're doing well, Inky. And that you continue to do well if you if you are. And if you're not, I hope it gets better. Man, I feel kind of bad. I wasn't expecting a huge cutscene. Here we go. Lilo art. Maybe one day we'll have art. That'd be wonderful. So if I don't talk a lot, like I said, dungeons are pretty intense. have heart that is true that is true I did see it and it was very good bacon shows how Lilo figure that's me right now I celebrate your work you get the only one left I guess you get it I didn't want those oh Actually, uh, I guess I did want that. Hmm. Wait, nope, wait until we get out of here. Wait until we get out of here for my equipment to get back. Oh. <sighs> well, that went well. Flowey anatomy? Hmm. Meat. Just meat. Oh my god, you're adorable. Finally, fresh air. May have not so fresh, but better than before. Ah, sinister one is gone. This one can leave this awful place. 
Hello. Hmm, did Walking One vanquish the many-legged one? Is one as grateful to Walking One? Hmm, this one is called Frixio, eldest of these ones of little solace. Ugh, oh, my head! Time for a migraine. Made out of plot. Yeah, Flowey doesn't have, like... Doesn't have, like, organs or anything. It's just solid meat. It's pretty wild. Alpha Squad reporting, sir. Nothing of note at Lark's call, sir. Understood. Return to Area 12. Damn it all, where is that accursed icon hiding? Akon. Akon. No son of our wizened friend? I'm afraid not, my lord. Shall I order that the search perimeter be expanded? Absolutely not. We risk alerting the Gridanians to our presence. His Excellency, His Excellency bid us avoid unnecessary confrontation. Loath though I am to admit it, I have found no evidence to suggest that Ramu will be gracing the mortal realm in the near future. I ask you, what good is a god who does not grant one's wishes? Were I a sylph, I would strongly consider finding myself another idol. Which reminds me, what of the sylphs we captured? A handful of them seemed to be in reasonably good health when I last looked. Remaster might take years. Remaster of what? Undertale? Shadow ball hands, flat feet. Wow. Apologies, my lord. I fear we may have been overzealous in our efforts to compel them to summon their Akon. <laughs> really, Centurion? Were you not aware that vegetables bruise easily? Uh, it is well that I did not entrust you with the important task of making my dinner. Eh, well, mayhap it is a kindness. Was a kindness. Better dead in truth than dead to one's go own god, I suppose, if you believe in such things. Hmm, dawn is upon us. Make ready to withdraw. God, his armor looks so cool. Useless. We are so close to completion, I can fair taste it. But at this rate... No. I must be patient. Our efforts will, build, were, will, our efforts will bear fruit in due time. What was it you always said? Ah, yes. Though it, mean, though it mean bringing down the very heavens, who shall challenge the limits of possibility if not we? In that alone you were right, Garland. But your star is long fallen, while mine doth begin to rise. Remaster of art. Going to remaster the entire concept of art. Wowee. The flat feet are shoes. My feet are pretty flat. And it shall burn so bright. So bright that Lord Von Belsar's ultimate weapon will seem a mere candle beside it. <laughs> what a lad. Those walking ones did for no Noxia. This one is certain of it. This one fears that the that other Taken ones also suffered the same fate. This one is convinced. Walking ones have black hearts, seek only to harm these ones. Walking ones are not to be trusted. Now, now, Noraxia, do not pass judgment too hastily. Not all walking ones are alike. Though there are evil ones among the walking ones, there are good ones also. I'm a good one. Me. Praise me. Hmm, does walking one feel unwell? This one would know. What brings walking one to this place? I love your hair. We came to this one's rescue at Naraxia's bidding. This one owes walking one a, a debt of gratitude. Hmm. Walking one has questions about Lord Ramu. Then this one will provide answers. 
flat feet comfortable or not? Generally, no. But first, let these ones quit this lightless place. This one will return to Little Solace. When walking one is ready, please come and see this one. These ones may speak properly then. You got it. My god, you're you're so goddamn cute. Then it is settled, let this one accompany walking one outside. You got it. I'll punch anything that gets in our way. Oh my god, it makes flying noises. What is this Zelda companion? Well, that worked out well. No, I don't want to return to the back of my bar. Ta-da! Bum, bum, ba -da. Howdy. Ah, you're back? Tell me where the Sylph Elder is well. Tell me the Sylph Elder is well. Thank the gods for that. I don't rightly know what to make of the rest of your tale, but I'm full glad Frixio didn't come to any harm. Ah, oh, but there I go tempting fate. Run over to Little Solace and secure us peace with the Sylphs before aught else befalls us, eh? Rest assured, I'll send words to our friends of Charlene and the Twin, Ad Ad Twin Adder Bull. You've done Gridania a great service this day, lad, and earned yourself a place of honor here at the Druthers in so doing. Be sure, come by whenever you feel like a drop of cooker and fire water. Wow. Bye. Oh, never mind, we're not done. Microsoft Art. Is that like Microsoft Sam, but an artist? Hmm, say, friend, there's something I'd like to ask you to see delivered to the Sylphs of Little Solace. This is Ama Rose Oil. It's a gift to celebrate the safe return of their tribe's elder. And a token of Gritania's desire to unite. The wood is not what it once was. The calamity changed the elementals, weakened them. Until their strength is returned, we must limb them ours to keep the wood safe. But ours alone will not be enough. We must have the strength of the Sylphs as well. Only by working together and fighting together will we survive together, and the Twelves would with us. The gift I ask you to bear is a symbol of the hope of that both Gritanian and Sylph alike will live to see the light beyond this darkness. Alright. Oh hey, I can play him in... I can play him in, uh... Triple Triad. Uh, but, uh... Gotta go that way. Got a blender, there's paint 3D. Wow, that's a program. <laughs> Work my Jape Hoggers files, you're what? What do you do to deserve that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it still wants me to equip it. Oh my god, it's adorable. Get off my chocobo. I need my materia. Boop. And... Alright. Awesome. We're good. Update. That's a new set. Oh, cool. Look at my new shirt. I'm a stylish lad. But, uh... God, I love this music. I am starting to get a little tired, though. I'll be, I'll be honest. <laughs>
Oh my god, they're everywhere. Anyway. Hey, Nalexia. A gift for walking one with Scarron. A gift for these ones. They have some Azama Rose Oil. Mm, such a lovely scent. This one has never smelled anything like this before. Walking one Biscarin and adventuring one are very kind. Know that this one is deeply grateful. Many walking ones are scary. Many walking ones utter lies and much deception. But this one is moved. Let, the, let all these ones be friends forever. Yeah. Friend. Nice. Alright, Komuxio. Believe in yourself. <laughs> nice. This one has been expecting walking one. This one fetches elder one. Oh my god. I love you. This one is pleased to see walking one again. Welcome to the home of these ones. Ah, oh, there you are, Weevil. We've just uh, been hearing tell of your deeds of daring do. Well done. Ah, oh, the walking ones who aided Noraxia. This one is grateful. A pleasure to have been of service. If you do not mind my asking, how did your misadventure come about? This one does not mind. The misadventures, as walking one calls them. Of this one began when Imperial Ones entered the wood. Fearing trouble, these ones decided to watch Imperial Ones closely. Steak good? I want steak now, thanks. Thanks, Bacon. God, I'm so hungry. But these ones watched too closely, and Imperial Ones noticed and tried to catch these ones. Having nowhere else to hide, this one fled into Totorak. Would that this one had not. In Totorak, a sinister one robed in black. Tried to feed this one to a mini-legged one. Sinister one robed in black. Why do I have the feeling I should be more worried about that than I am? Elder Frixia, we have come to you as emissaries of the nation of, Gr nation of Gridania. This missive bears the words of the Elder Seed Seer. Take it from my hand. This one sees. So walking ones of Gridani are fearful of Lu Lord Ramu. Mm, plainly put, yes. If people summon the Lord of Levin but once, yet that single occurrence occasioned great alarm. Yeah, but it's not as if the Gridanians dislike you or anything. Actually, it's just the opposite. They think of, they think of you as friends, and they don't want to, anything to get in the way of that. That's why the Elder Seed Seer wrote to you. With the stake. Man. Man. Horse. Um, this one uh, well knows and respects Horns One, Kanasena. Be assured, like walking ones of Grotania, these ones have no desire for conflict. These ones resorted to summoning Lord Ramu to protect, to protect the wood. To protect the wood from Imperial ones. This one counseled against doing so, but was not needed. But was not heeded. Against this one's wishes, Lord Ramu was summoned, and all those ones who took part became touched ones. These ones want so desperately to turn touched ones back to normal ones, but did not know how, and still do not know. Touched ones, meanwhile, wanted to turn these ones into touched ones, and did know how. So this one fled to Little Solace with all those ones who did not wish to be bound to Lord Ramu. But walking ones of Gridania need not fear touched ones or Lord Ramu. Unlike other primal ones, Lord Ramu is not callous and cruel. Black and white filter. Hmm. Welcome to Instagram. So long as walking ones do not trespass on these ones' ancestral homeland, where touched ones reside, walking ones will not suffer thunderous judgment. 
Ah, oh, but this one has spoken enough of such ones. This one would speak instead of these ones. As this one said, these ones desire peace with the walking ones of Gridania. And so these ones ask for a chance to set things right. By way of an addendum, mortals who are tempered come to take on the qualities of the embodied by the primal in question. In the case of the Sylphs, Ramu's influence has made them fiercely protective of their homeland. That explains why they're so hostile towards trespassers, but what about the abductions? A fine question, Ida. The, abduct the abductions are, I believe, an expression of the tempered Sylphs' desire for reconciliation. Another quality traditionally associated with Ramu. In the crudest manner imaginable, they seek to bring their fellows back into the fold. A timely reminder that the challenge is posed by each primal are unique. Elder Frixia, we thank you for making your will known to us. The people of Gridania will rest easier in the knowledge that they and the Sylphs are united in their desire for peace. Wishing to cooperate, this one has written down the feelings of these ones. Please see that these feelings are conveyed to the Horned One, Kanasina. You got it. And with that, I believe we can lay the matter of Ramu to rest. That Sylphelder is very reasonable, I must say. You could learn a lot from him. Hmm? Was that a jibe? If so, I feel it's only fair to observe that one of us wouldn't recognize reason if it punched her on the nose. Did I say fair? I meant reasonable. Got him. Anyway, we're going to head back to the Waking Sands and tell Minfili all about it. Fear not. We will be sure to mention the instrumental part you played in all of this. And while we see to that, we should appreciate it if you would deliver Fixio's missive to the Adder's Nest. Elder Fixio, we humbly thank you for your time. It has been an honor. The honor is this one's. Together, let the, wake let the walking ones of Gridania and these ones find a way to live in peace. Twitter filter. Where's Twitter filter? The blue filter. Please wait, walking one weeble. This one has yet to give walking one a token of this one's appreciation. Oh my god. When these ones summoned Lord Ramu, these ones were gifted this crystal. This one would now bestow the crystal upon walking one as a symbol of these ones' trust. Oh my god. We got the second seal. We found the second sage, boys. Wow. This one was not mistaken about walking one. Walking one is destined to walk a fate far crueler than this one can imagine. A brilliant light from within walking one enveloped the crystal. This one saw. Mark this one well. That crystal will one day be of use to walking one. Walking one must keep that crystal safe at all times. You got it. Before Walking One returns to Gridania, this one would ask Walking One to, war to watch Touched Ones. So long as Touched Ones are not troubled, touch Touched Ones will not make trouble. If Walking One witnesses Touched Ones making no trouble, mayhap wa Walking One can testify to the Walking Ones of Gridania that these ones mean no harm. These ones' homeland is fraught with danger. This one marks down safe spot places to look out for Touched Ones. All right. I'll do that for you. And look out east of Little Source. That's a positive, Captain. Monica got stuck in mouth. Hmm. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Eat the harmonica. 
become the harmonica. Oh my god, level 40s. All vine and no photos. I look. Long throw, throw, throw. Mmm. <laughs> Breathe in. The te their tempered sylphs in the distance. You do not sense that they pose a danger if left alone. Wide. Eat drum. All right. Nice. Updated. We can go home now. Bum, bum, ba -da. If you ate a drum, would your ass become percussive? Ah, oh, Colonel. I'm trying to sneak around. But the deep, percussive bass of my ass keeps attracting their attention of the guards. Yeah. Mm, snake, you should not have eaten that that drum. Yeah, Colonel. But my fiber. You know I have I have problems pooping regularly. Yeah, Colonel. Nice. I think we're close to wrapping it up for tonight, though. I'm getting kind of tired. Uh. Your video resolution is quite good than mine. Uh, my video resolution is just 1280 by 720. Also, how are you? FX is what I will call you. How are you today? Bum, bum, bum. Bum, ba, da, 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 da. Sight to behold. Oh, that's got to be another dungeon. Want to make low-quality memes? Do it. That's pretty easy. <laughs> I believe in you. You have the power. All right, for sale. Hulwa. Hulwa. Well, if it, isn't, ah, if it isn't Weevil, how went the meeting with the Sylphs? It went good. Here you go. Have a letter. I'm a mailman. A missive from the Sylph Elder himself, if I may. Though the Sylphs have no desire for conflict, nor do they intend to summon Ramu. I'm fine. That's good to hear. I'm glad you're doing well. And so long as we leave the Tempered Ones be, we need not fear any aggression on their part. The Elder Seeds here will be overjoyed to hear that the Sylphs have welcomed our overtures. And in the knowledge that they bear us no ill will, we may channel our resources towards tackling the more conspicuous threats to our security. Steak tastes like so sick. Huh. That is objectively that is objectively incorrect. You've done this nation a great service, my friend. On behalf of all Gradanians, I give you my thanks. Meat. Hmm. I want meat, like a farm harvester. Also, how are you, Hanish? 
How are you today? I'm level 37. Wowee. Didn't learn a new ability, though. The law has more to say. I can get more, more Vesper Bay tickets. Not like I ever use them. The Sylphic folk have long been friends to Gritania. The mere thought of being at war with them pained the Elder Seeds here to no end. But owing to your efforts, she will be able to rest easier. Being the benevolent soul that she is, my lady will sur surely try to find a way to reverse the tempering process. Once again, I thank you. Had the scions of the seventh dawn not offered to mediate between our peoples, suspicion and doubt may well have led us into needless conflict. Pray pass on my regards to Lady Menphilia. Uh, she's calling. Let me check my codec. Hello, hello, Weeble. Can you hear me? It is I, Menphilia. Hmm, three hours. Hmm, yes. Ida and Papa Limo returned some little while ago, and they wasted no time in regaling me with the tale of, zero, of your exploits. Thanks in large part to you, the name of one primal may be struck from our list of enemies, and the Gridanians may turn their attention to more pressing matters. Well done. Got banned from my school library for the rest of the term because I cooked ham on a bench? Wow. Dang. How much ass do you have to rip to raise the temperature of a bench that high? Dang. Nice. Yet the end of one tale is but the start of another. Pray return to the waking sands at your earliest convenience. It would apprise you of the present situation in person. You got it. I'm in Australia. Oh. Okay. I uh, teleport. Farewell. And just like that, I'm on the other side of the continent, baby. I just look at this piece of paper and I teleport away into the abyss. Come on, Wiggles, keep up. Oh, hey, you smell's gone. Finally. That guy's been there for as long as I could remember. <laughs> hey, Tataru. Well, if it isn't my favorite adventurer, welcome back, Weeble. The demon filia awaits you within the solar. Please enter at your leisure. I got plenty of that. Also, you have any other dialogue? Tomorrow, Weeble? I, oh, nope, nothing new. I see. I predict we will end in two hours left. I predict we will end soon because I'm getting tired, like I said. It's two in the morning. I'm given to understand that the matter of Ramu has finally been resolved. My fear resolved bespeaks a permanence we cannot rightly claim. I am well satisfied that the Lord of Levin will not trouble us in the foreseeable future. Your satisfaction is assurance enough for me. Now fares the investigation. Well enough. Thank her it is sparing no effort. There are many in one, just as you suspected. Their purpose, however, eludes us still. I see. Ah, I've been meaning to ask, but is Alizé quite well? I feel as if I have scarcely seen her in recent days. Oh, you haven't, and nor have I, alas. Alizé has chosen to walk her own path, stubborn girl. But you may be assured that our destination remains the same. And on that note, I take my leave of you. I trust the Baldesian report will serve you well. GLaDOS. <gasps> wow! I take it we can proceed as discussed? This was a triumph. Why do you ask? You scarce need my permission to ask to act.
Hi. We meet again. Later, elf boy. The OS is glad. You ever thought about why every Digimon's name ends in Mon? It's because it's a file type. Dot M-O-N. Wow. Wild. It is good to see you again, Weevil. Hello at me. Look at how I wobble. Eh, hey, celebration. I've been looking forward to congratulating, congratulating you on your triumph in the Twelves Wood. Owing to your efforts, conflict has been averted. Truly, you have done the Scions proud. With that, we can strike a remove from the list. But who's next? This is Hagen and Leviathan. The Lord of the World has not answered his minion's call of late, nor is he expected to do so in the near future. While the Sahagin remain as aggressive as ever, they lack the quantity of crystals required to call forth their god. At least, as with the Sylphs, we can leave them to their own devices. For a time, at least. For a time, bears repeating, we can ill afford to fall complacent. It is as Yashtola says. Unless we know the minds of the beast tribes, we cannot predict without, with any certainty when next the primal will return to plague the land. Following me fave character, Flowers, Flowey's pretty good. This being the case, we must proceed with as much haste as, haste as prudence allows. Any word on Titan? The maelstrom keeps the kobolds over, under constant observation. We shall hear from them ere long, you may depend on it. Indeed. So then, with all the known primals that have been active in recent times, we are left with... Gridania! I, I mean, I meant Gruda, who is the primal of the Exile who lived near Gridania. Yes, that is what I meant. So many moms to cover. Would that there were a more efficient way to conduct our surveys. Were he still with us, we, we should not long have wanted for more practical for a more practicable solution. He's not wrong there. What in the world are you, Chief? Ah, but one sure step at a time. Henceforth, the Order of the Twin Adder will handle all, handle all matters pertaining to the Sylphs under the sage guidance of the Seed Seers. Update 5.5 hype. Did they recently have an update? I mean, I'm nowhere near there, but... Also, hello, Andre. Ah, uh -huh. my voice cracked. Wow. Hi, Andre. How are you doing this evening? I bid you all enjoy a moment's respite. You have earned it. You got it. I'm going to eat so many sandwiches. Is there something else, Weevil? I'm becoming a Pokemon master. Beg pardon. A man named La Habrea sporting a red mask and robed in black. Well preserve. Prior to the calamity, the Asians took great pains to remain hidden. Why would they choose to cast off their veil of secrecy now? Gods, this bodes ill. We must take full advan we must take advantage of the present lull in primal hostilities, and investigate this Laha Rea. Learn all we can of him and his designs. I dread to think. Yeet! Oh God. Tataru. Man, sucks being in the middle of the night and being unable to actually, you know, be loud. Oh, hey! Tataru, why are you being mean to the Sylph? A Sylph? In Thanalan? Yeah, it's a sad one. That we helped out. At long last, this one finds walking one Weevil. This one is most dependable of these ones. It's sent by Elder One Frixio to help walking ones. Are you a new friend? This one is called Naroxia. 
This one comes as a friend. Let these ones be friends. I think this game was based on the old years? The old years. A pleasure to meet you, Naroxia. New friend. We just keep getting new friends added to the group. <laughs> nice. Oh, hey, thank you. Ah, Weevil. Pray do not concern yourself with my welfare. My current investigation has yielded some curious results. And at present, I am pondering how best to proceed. 1734. Ah. I doubt it. Oh, hey, another one. Excuse me, lad. This might sound strange, but you haven't by chance seen a fellow what looks exactly like me. I'm looking for my twin brothers, see, and I heard they might have come through here. They could be dead for all I know. At least it feels like I've been chasing ghosts for an eternity now. Did Brennan fuck off? Sad. Live. Greeting Scion, I come on behalf of the students of Baldesian. You may address me as Clive. If there's some reason you are still here, please carry on. I'm not here to see you. Wow. Oh, hey, you match. Wonderful. Wedge, my onion boy. Evil and masks cannot be trusted. Well, Biggs and I wear masks all the time when welding. A different mask. Also, this isn't Zelda. Yeah, if only Master Garland were still with us. He was a brilliant man, full of life and purpose. Kind and generous, he taught us everything we know about engineering. Though believe me, he could also be a very hard person to please. It forced us to completely rebuild devices if even a single flaw was discovered. I can only imagine what he'd say if he saw the tiny Bronco. Garland. He's the guy that Nero was talking about. In recent days, I've resumed my training. Idle hands make for idle minds, and painful memories are all too quick to resurface. What are you doing? Why are you scraping the floor with a pitchfork? Okay. Knowest thou the import of the broken staff within the solar? It fell from the grasp of Archon Louisois, the man who, in his abiding love for all Eorzeans, shielded us against the storm of the Calamity. The stars wheel across the heavens, and the skies brighten once more. The survivors gather, and ignite a fiery dawn to burn away the glowering shroud. Ah, but destiny, thou art beautiful. The floor is itchy. That's a good point. We did establish that the floor likes being stepped on. Japan, they use pitchforks to scrub the floor. I mean, if you stubbed a, if you stabbed that into a sponge, you could use it as a mop. That would work. <laughs> Starting to wonder if it's worth the hassle to prove who he was. I mean, maybe some folk would say, good on you, mate. Thanks for fighting to save Eorzea and whatnot. But I reckon most would ask what we've done for him lately, if not spitting our vases for allow allowing Bahamut to blow up half the god's damned world. Hmm. There are two types of Alamegans. Fools who wish to fight back but know not how, and cowards who've chosen to run from their worries. The young man over there is a striking example of the former. Me? I'm the latter, couldn't you tell? I don't know, I was too distracted by the hair. As Asriel doing in the surface? Probably dead. Naraxi and I both wear a mask. We're gonna get it wrong famously, I just know it. Yeah, I'm sure. You'll be best friends with the sad lettuce. Look, Naraxi, I realize this makes no sense to you, but you must try to be more discreet. Years ago, a law was enacted in Ulda whereby... <sighs> oh, please, just trust me and stay out of sight. The two, the two X story. Welcome to Realm Reborn. Yeah. Walking ones from Muldal have not seen these ones before. This one knows. Still, must walking ones make such screaming sounds when seeing this one's face? This one cannot get a wink of rest. Do you rest in public? Interesting. 
I should probably mend my equipment after, you know, a dungeon. Probably. And you still have nothing that I really need right now. All right, Arnvald. I'm to meet with the antecedent soon to discuss a matter of great import. Abba, uh, Abba. Things is about my first official mission. I suppose it would be good if it was, yes? I mean, I'm not sure if I'm ready, but still. I believe in you. You probably won't die. Probably. I mean, this guy lived. I was sure he was going to die. <laughs> a masked man. I vaguely recall some Amalja ranting about something like that in the middle of a skirmish. Of course, I wasn't listening too closely on account of the fact that their friends were trying to kill me. I don't mean to waste your, to waste your time, friend, but that's the only thing about what comes... That's a, the only... Bleh. I don't mean to waste your time, friend, but that's the only thing that... What comes to mind. God. Ugh, putting... Using what in that context always messes with me. Poor people. Wowee. There's a lot of people here. As you have doubtless, doubtless witnessed in your travels, the lands of Eorzea are grass, gasping under the pall of a suffocating darkness. I must wonder if it is this darkness that, that invites disaster, or simply that disaster has left such gloom in its wake. One thing is for certain, now is not the time to relax our vigilance. You right. Anyway. Is there anyone else in here to talk to? Oh, we're going straight to Menphilia. Let's go straight to Menphilia. I suppose we should start the next quest. Before I call it good, because it's, uh... Two in the morning. <laughs> oh, hello! Yes, yeah, Sataru is as ready to express her fright as she is to express everything else. Not all of us are forged of the same steel as you, I'm afraid. But it takes all kinds to make a family, and it pleases me to no end to see ours continue to grow. One by one, the people of Eorizi are beginning to unite, Weevil, drawn to the hope that shines within you. Yet a darkness threatens to engulf this light. 3 p.m. here. Yeah, it's the middle of the day for a lot of the people here. <sighs> That's what happens when you stream. When you stream at a time in the middle of the night for yourself, it'll be the middle of the day for the people on the other side of the planet. Yet a darkness threatens to engulf this light. Never have I doubted the, Asi the Asian's presence, but that they have grown so brazen as to carry out their work in plain sight fills me with a sense of deep foreboding. More teleport abilities. All right. Well done. Yay, we did an entire story line today. We did all of the Sylph stuff today. Well done. Mm. But yeah, I'm tired. Uh, and we had the stream earlier today as well, so my throat is also starting to rebel. So I am going to call it good. Thank you all for hanging out, though. I'm glad the people are hanging out with the with the Final Fantasy streams. I was actually damn near certain when I started these that no one would be here. <laughs> I'm glad people are enjoying it. Might stream this again tomorrow because I I still want to make progress. No no poor Tob and. <laughs> Close enough, Bacon. <laughs> One of these days you'll get it. Yeah, may or may not stream tomorrow, but I kind of want to because I I love this game. I'm having a great time. But for now, thank you all for hanging out. I hope you have a good day. And I'll see you all later.